What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I am very very excited to bring you the new kingpin of smartphones, the new daddy-o on the block, my unboxing and first look of this, the HTC One X. Now this thing really is the new kingpin of smartphones. This thing's got the best specifications of any smartphone that's out there at the moment and it really is the new daddy. But anyway, before I start, just to like to say a big thank you to Vodafone for sending me this out for review. You can actually pick this up completely free of charge on contracts starting from £41 a month and they actually include a one gigabyte allowance for data usage. Now let's just look at the specifications. The specifications on this are absolutely insane. This thing's got a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor with actually a fifth core running at a slower speed in the background doing minor tasks, background tasks. It's got a 4.7 inch super IPS LCD2 display that also has Gorilla Glass as well, so an absolutely amazing display. It's got one gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. It's got an eight megapixel rear facing camera capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second. It's got a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera capable of recording 720p. On top of all of those specifications, it also has Beats Audio as well. So that is absolutely fantastic specifications. Now let's dive straight into this and have a look at the phone itself. In terms of the packaging, nothing really to show you. Very, very simple packaging, nothing at all on there. Let's dive straight in and have a look at this absolutely incredibly specced new Android phone. I actually forgot to say as well, the great thing about this as well, it comes by standard with ice cream sandwich as well, so no waiting for any kind of update on that at all. Now, in the box, first of all, you'll see that we've got some Monster Beats by Dre Your Beats headphones, so absolutely awesome that you get those included. I'm not the hugest fan of Beats, but they're still gonna be a lot better than any standard headphones that you would actually get with most of these smartphones. So, the actual HTC One X itself, nice kind of plastic packaging there as well. Cool little box. On the back just tells you some of the specifications that we've, we've already gone through. Um, obviously this thing supports all of the network connectivity that you would expect it to as well. Let's just slide that off and open it up and there we go. Oh, he drops it. <laughs> And there we go, there's the phone itself. Let's just lift this out and have a look. Wow, absolutely fantastic build quality. You can tell straight away there from HTC. Now HTC do always provide you with some fantastic build quality on their phones and this thing by no means is any kind of letdown at all. We'll have a closer look at that in just a second. Let's see what else we get in the packaging. So first of all, we get a little kind of ejector pin for the SIM card, exactly the same as we get with the iPhones and iPads. Warranty plus contact us information in there as well. And then also in the box, I'm not gonna bore you to death with this, we get the USB cable. We actually get some standard headphones as well in there. Um, and we get the normal kind of power supply and stuff as well. So nothing exciting there, but this phone, I'm actually gonna take the camera off the tripod and get a close up of this bad boy just so you can get a real feel for what this phone looks like and we'll turn it on and see how it performs as well. So I'll be back with you in just a second. So there we go guys, there's a nice close up of the HTC One X. First of all, you can see that huge 4.7 inch Super IPS LCD2 display there. We've got the three normal capacitive touch buttons at the bottom. On the side of the phone, we've simply got the micro USB socket. On the bottom of the phone, it looks like we've just got the microphone. And then on the other side of the phone, we've got the volume rocker as well. On the top of the phone, we've got the standby switch, also the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, along with the opening there for the SIM card. On the back of the device, We've got the eight megapixel rear facing camera with the LED flash, and we've also got the loudspeaker as well for the Beats audio, along with what looks like some kind of connector for a docking system. 
Now, as you can tell, the build quality of this is absolutely beautiful. It feels really nice in the hand, and it just feels like a really, really well-made phone, which I really do like about these kind of phones. Anyway, let's power this thing on and see if we can get it turned on. So there we go, got the Vodafone logo because this particular one's on Vodafone. Booting up there, the HTC logo, HTC One. Wow, <laughs> that was fast. Now, we've only got 5% power remaining, but you can see straight away we've got the ice cream sandwich home screen. Let's just unlock that and get straight into this and have a little look around. So, there we go. We've actually got the HTC Sense over the top of ice cream sandwich. And let's just have a quick look around some of these applications. Let's go into something there we go, I don't know what this is. Teeter, anyone knows what that is? Let's quit that, no idea. Uh, let's go into the YouTube application and just launch that. Got no internet connection at the moment because so I haven't set that up. But this thing really does seem to be quite nippy in terms of the speed, as it should be with that one gigabyte of RAM and also that quad core processor, that's absolutely insane. Anyway guys, I'm going to go away now and test this phone for a couple of weeks, get it all connected up, get a SIM card in it, and obviously I'll be back to you as soon as I can with a full review. Anyway guys, please do hit that like button, it really does help me out. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.